Hey guys, welcome back to Father and Son Investing. I'm going to go over a company today with you that I think uh, stands a great chance of uh, seeing significant share price and actually improving the health of a lot of people around the world within the next few years. Before I get into that company, let me just put in a plug for getting your young people in your life involved in investing. My son, uh, this is where Father and Son Investing came from, got involved in this as a teenager and is making sizable amounts of money now. Uh, get them in early. So if you don't know how to do that, I have a video that I created this past summer about both Roth IRA custodial account and a regular investment custodial account, both from Charles Schwab. Go back and look at that. If you decide to do it, I've put a referral code or a, refer or a referral link uh, in the uh, Charles Schwab investment custodial account. If you invest money in there, $1,000, they'll give you 100 I don't get anything for it. Uh, it's just a great way, though, to get your, your uh, young person started investing. All right, let's talk about Ender Life Sciences. They are a small company. They only have about 20 people that they employ. But the work that they're doing in the area of fatty liver disease is really important. Some of you know that I am a radiologist. I see fatty liver multiple times during every shift that I work. In fact, just the other night I was thinking there is no good way to really quantify the amount of fat within the liver. Well, it was funny that I was thinking that just the other night because I've run across this company, Endra Life Sciences, which has a way to quantify the amount of fat in a liver. Now, why should we care about that? Well, you need to understand that non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, abbreviated NAFLD, and non-alcoholic steatohepatitis, abbreviated NASH, or sometimes just called NASH, affects 1.4 billion people across the globe. This is linked to obesity, diabetes, and some genetic factors. The bad part about this is that it can progress to liver fibrosis, cirrhosis, and in people who develop cirrhosis, potentially liver cancer. In the United States, we're looking at direct medical costs of about 100 billion. All right, so that answers why this is important. Now, there are two ways that uh, can quantify that amount of fat. Both of them are not very feasible on a large scale. The first one is using MRI. MRI machines are expensive, and quite honestly, there are not enough of them for this disease. The second way is by liver biopsy. I have a slide that shows what a liver biopsy entails, but just know that it's invasive and painful and really not enough doctors really to go around to do it, the number of biopsies that would be required. So this slide gives you a better idea of uh, the number of tests that are available out there to try to uh, quantify and diagnose uh, liver fat and inflammation. Obviously liver biopsy and MRI have really high diagnostic value but aren't very feasible. There are other tests such as quantitative ultrasound, uh, traditional ultrasound, there are blood tests, and then there are uh, medical history and body mass index measurements. All of those are very accessible but are not very sensitive uh, to this problem. So Endra Life Sciences has come up with a way to quantify the amount of fat in a liver. They have come up with what they're calling the Teus probe. This is a thermoacoustic ultrasound. It works a little bit differently than regular ultrasound. Regular ultrasound works with sound waves. You pass a sound wave into a body, that sound gets reflected back to the probe and it generates an image. In this case, rather than using sound waves, they're using radio frequency, which then passes into tissue and really heats that tissue up. And as that tissue expands, it generates a wave. And then that sound wave can generate an image, which can quantify, in this case, the amount of fat uh, within a liver. When we're looking at sensitivity, it's about 88%. That is the number of true positives that the test will pick up. When we're looking at specificity, we're looking at about 82%. That is the ability of a test to give a true negative, meaning that a person does not have a disease. When we're looking at the area under the curve, it is 0.91. You're looking for 0.9, anything better than 0.9, to know that it's a good test. Now, the nice thing about this test is, is that it can be done in about 1.5 seconds. Uh, for just one measurement. If you want to take multiple measurements, such as 10, you can do up to 10. You're looking at about 10 times 1.5 seconds plus the time to manipulate the uh, screen for the sonographer. 
So what is the estimated cost for this device? We're looking at about 50000 and each scan we're looking at about $35 per patient. So a facility could easily recoup that 50000 within a year of scanning patients. Compare that to an MRI machine where you're looking at $2.5 million or more. The other nice thing about this device is that it can be added to existing ultrasound machines. So an imaging center doesn't need to go out and purchase a brand new ultrasound with this device on it. They can add it on. Now I mentioned that this company is in very early stages of development. So much so that they don't have any revenue yet. And this device has not been approved yet within the United States. It has been approved. It has received the CE mark uh, within Europe and they are working on commercializing it presently. Within the United States, they do have some centers that are using this test. Uh, that can be done as an academic uh, investigational thing without FDA clearance. The big one there is the University of Pittsburgh Medical Center. They are a well-known medical center when it comes to liver disease and liver transplants. Now, while they're working initially just to quantify liver fat, this uh, Teus probe has other capabilities. One of the nice things that I see in it is its ability to uh, gauge tissue temperature. Now there are procedures that doctors do where they are either putting radio frequency in to heat a tissue up or they're cryoablating it, meaning they're putting cold temperature in to freeze it uh, in order to uh, kill the tissue, usually a cancer. It's hard to gauge how much of that energy is being placed into that tissue. This Teus probe, though, has the capability of showing a provider exactly where that tissue is heating up or freezing so that they will know if they are uh, effectively uh, treating the area of interest. This is great for uh, treating, as I mentioned, cancers, but also perhaps in people who have atrial fibrillation, a cardiologist uh, inserts a wire into the heart where they will then apply some radio frequency and heat up that tissue to uh, burn it essentially. All right, what else do you need to know about this company before we get into the financials and the stock price? Well, you need to understand, again, that they have not yet received FDA clearance for this device. Now, th that is just the FDA clearance for this device. They also have not received FDA clearance for any of its clinical uses, such as measuring fat. In fact, in one of their SEC filings, they state this, we expect that initial FDA clearance will allow us to sell the TAIS application in the United States. That's just the machine, with general imaging claims. However, we will need to obtain additional FDA clearance to be able to make diagnostic claims for fatty tissue content determination. So they are significantly behind in the United States when compared to their ability to market uh, in Europe. What else do you need to know? Well, they do have some agreements uh, for 40 of these machines to be used in Thailand. Asia is a very uh, large er area where liver disease is prevalent for a number of reasons. And so being able to get that into that Asian market, uh, starting there in Thailand, is a good start. What else do you need to know? They have a lot of patents, uh, a lot, uh, more than 70 at the present time. They're looking to surpass 80 intellectual property assets within their portfolio. This is just a quick look at how their share price has been doing over the last six months. The nice thing about this is that uh, there are little flags all along the way here uh, that show different um, reasons or things that were happening with the company. Many of these, if you stop and pause on them, you will find are related to patents. Uh, and, of course, when their share price took a very large jump near the uh, end of January, it involved the 14th U.S. patent. The fact that they have so many of these patents uh, related to thermoacoustic imaging, I think, uh, is going to protect this company very well as they try to emerge from their uh, early stages and commercialize this product. Are they making money yet? The answer to that is no. In fact, they have zero revenue right now, zero. And, and they also state in one of their recent SEC filings, we have a history of losses from operations and expect to continue to incur losses until we are able to significantly grow our revenues. During the quarter ending September 30, 2020, we had an operating loss of more than $3 million, uh, And as of November 13, 2020, they had less than $3 million in cash on hand. So they say, accordingly, 
we will need additional financing to maintain our business and our execute our business plan. Such financing may not be available on favorable terms, if at all. You need to know that this company is very early and is not generating any revenue at all. Their financing is coming from loans and stock slash investment. Last summer, they had a problem where their share price had dipped below a dollar uh, for a certain number of days. The NASDAQ requires companies listed on the NASDAQ to at least maintain their share price greater than a dollar. They did manage to get that up. Uh, you can see now it's trading around $2.30, but there's always the possibility that that goes back below a dollar. Uh, if that happens and they get delisted from the NASDAQ, then their ability to finance may become more expensive. All right, that's enough for uh, Endra, ticker symbol NDRA for today. Uh, I'm a radiologist. I see the clinical uh, value of this particular device, and I went ahead and purchased my shares today. I'm not necessarily recommending that you do. You need to do your due diligence, but if you're looking for companies uh, in the early stages where your returns can be compounded nicely, uh, this may be one for you, so look into it. Let me just reiterate again, get your young person involved in investing. Compound, compound, compound. The way that money compounds over years is incredible, and getting started early will give your young person a greater advantage when they become an old person like me. I hope this was helpful for you. If it was, please give us a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't. And if you have comments uh, or questions about this company, I would love to hear them. Please leave them in the comments. Until next time, enjoy your investing.